Good afternoon to all the participants present here. At the outset, I would like to thank our management, our Chancellor Ma'am and the President Sir for permitting us to conduct this six days lecture series, which would be promoting biotechnology concepts to practice. And I also thank the organizers, Dr. Tyagrajan, Dr. Maslamani Selvam and Dr. Prakash for organizing this event. I request our Pro Vice Chancellor, Dr. Wilson Aruni, sir, to say a few words. Thank you, Ramesh. Uh, I think I'm audible to everyone. Um, yes, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, very much. Uh, so it gives the immense pleasure that uh, yet another uh, rigorous activity by uh, the Department of Biotechnology School of Bio and Chemical Engineering. Uh, as you all knowing, or you might be knowing, that uh, Satibama. Institute of Science and Technology is involved uh, now into virtual platform and uh, you can see uh, online a lot of uh, actions that are going on and this is one of its kind which is very unique where uh, as the concept to practices are more important we have six uh, important speakers who are very um, good at their subject in their own subject matter specialists and uh, today I really uh, wish to congratulate and welcome uh, Dr. Jay Chandran, who is a, a senior consultant in MSME. Um, welcome you, sir, for coming here uh, and uh, you. giving your deliberations. I also wish and thank all the uh, participating members, uh, the faculty, uh, everyone, especially Dr. R. Tamil Chirvan, who is involved with the uh, School of Bio and Chemical Engineering facility. Thank you so much. Over thank you, me. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for always uh, supporting us. At the outset, I would request all the participants to kindly switch off their videos and uh, mute themselves so that it doesn't cause a disturbance to the others. Kindly disable your video. The chat box is also being disabled. The chat box will be enabled by 3.30 so that you can ask your questions. You can post your questions then. There is no requirement of formal introduction of yourselves here. We'll be posting a feedback form. Kindly fill the feedback form so that you'll be getting your certificates. The feedback form will also ser serve as a uh, attendance form for you. So let us begin the uh, today's uh, talk. Today's speaker will be Sri K. Jayachandran, who's presently working as a senior consultant with MSME Technology Development Center, Agra. Prior to this, Sir was working as Deputy Director at MSME Chennai, one of, one of the field establishments of the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, Government of India. An engineer in ceramics and glass technology, he was initially employed at Regional Research Laboratory, a constituent establishment of the CSIR Trivandrum for about nine years. Sir has contributed to uh, research activities in the field of glass, ceramics and building materials. He has got eight research papers to his credit. Later, after acquiring an MBA with specialization in marketing management, he was, uh, since 1988, he has been employed with the Ministry of MSME, Government of India, as Assistant Director and later promoted as Deputy Director. During the course of his employment with Ministry of MSME, he, uh, he, has, he was deputed to Entrepreneurship Development and Innovation Institute, Chennai, a Government of Tamil Nadu organization as its Joint Director. Uh, during his service with the Ministry of MSME, <laughs> Jay Chandran has worked in several locations in the country. With a long service of around uh, 30 years plus in the ministry, he has a strong exposure in entrepreneurship training and enterprises promotion. His areas of interest are entrepreneurship guidance and counseling, promotion of micro and small enterprises, project product opportunity guidance, and also procedural guidance to new entrepreneurs. We look forward to your talk, sir. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Today, the, the time allotted to me is about one hour, 60 minutes. During this session, I think the introduction was too long. That uh, anyway, 
I am connected with the MSME Technology Development Center, Agra. Earlier working with MSME Ministry in several locations, those things you have heard in the introduction. So I have a special liking for uh, entrepreneurship promotion. And uh, we have been uh, speaking to students of uh, universities, colleges, engineering colleges to promote entrepreneurship among students right from the first year to the final year students. Next. I think slides I can operate now. Okay. So during this 60 minutes webinar, I will be broadly discussing about entrepreneurship, technopreneurship, agripreneurship may not be proper English words, but uh, anybody connected with the technology doing entrepreneurship, they are just broadly classified as technopreneurs, similarly agropreneurs with agriculture background. The Topics will be listed here that I need not read out. We will uh, rush through characteristics of an entrepreneur and all. We will see in the slides. Okay, next. Next. To start with, let us uh, try to define uh, what is this entrepreneur. The word is not uh, easy to pronounce. Entrepreneur is a person who takes the risk of setting up his own business venture for perceived rewards. Any person who is setting up his own business venture is an entrepreneur. He is the person who initiates the idea, formulates a plan, organizes resources, and puts the plan into action to achieve his goal. And finally, and most importantly, he, he or she is prepared to take risk and face challenges. The risk taking ability alone determines whether you have the entrepreneurial quality or not. To define it further, entrepreneur is a person who conceives a new business opportunity. See, during your studies, you will be working on uh, some projects. Maybe as a requirement, as a compulsion for the curriculum to be completed to get a degree. So that particular project, if it can be commercialized, then you have identified a business opportunity. After the studies, you may think of starting a, your own enterprises. Here, after degree what? I think this group contains students from first year to fourth year. For first year students or second year students also, you may think this topic is not very much relevant now because I have got another three years or two years to go. Why should I think about a business opportunity now? But after the degree, you got a degree, completed four years in the university. After that, what? Few students may go for uh, higher studies. Few may go abroad for better employment. Most of them may like to get themselves employed in a company, preferably in an MNC company with a lucrative pay compensation. But there will be a, a small segment of the student population who would be interested to start a business on their own. So they are the one to be classified as entrepreneur. Entrepreneur assumes risk. Again, this risk word repeatedly it will come because entrepreneurship involves risk. And uh, he takes that risk to transform the idea into reality. The project idea, what you have conceived during your college days, can be transformed into a business venture, identifies commercial ventures, a little outside the box thinking, not the routine one, not that nine to five employment in some other company. So the thinking outside the box will give a creativity, 
will motivate you to get into entrepreneurship you will choose entrepreneurship as a career opportunity and he is the one who will approach us an idea from a perspective to the status quo what is there today need not be there for years to come so we might have seen the changes that has happened in it field or the communication field in the past decade is phenomenal so had we continued with the status quo we wouldn't have we wouldn't have gained so much knowledge we wouldn't have got so much tools and equipments to make our life healthy and enjoyable he is the one who incubates the idea and champions its ad- adoption the idea has to be incubated later tested validated then only you will plan to invest into a business venture and he is the one who brings together money people technology later launches the enterprise and manages it effectively for uh, for what we'll see in the next slide for next so once again it is continued in a typically an entrepreneur is inspired to start a business because he perceives a consumer need that is not being adequately filled meaning that see there are commodities available in the market whatever the see you 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 go to t nagar market you want to buy something every commodity is available but still there is something which is not adequately filled then only the development new idea creativity everything will come the final point is he or she is necessarily motivated by profit or economic gains strives for excellence see unless you are motivated by profit or economic gains you will not enter into entrepreneurship next i need not uh, these the, this uh, slides will be circulated to you you can go through there are some qualities essentially needed to be an entrepreneur opportunity sensing you have to sense an opportunity so if you want to put up a tea shop or a um, a manufacturing organization you are all biotech students now during the covid uh, regime or post covid uh, situation i think biotechnology students will be in great demand because the pandemic can be contained with experts from uh, microbiology biotech and similar disciplines but whatever the spe- specific qualities or their sub- um, involving your subject knowledge the general qualities are opportunity sensing self confidence creativity analytical ability to analyze the pros and cons of every situation leadership qualities you should have knowledge of the field that's what i have narrated being a biotech student in the field you must be gaining a lot of knowledge during your college days communication skill is invariably important motivation willingness to accept criticism people may not uh, may not uh, really appreciate your efforts initially they may even criticize even your own parents your own family members may not agree if you say that i want to do your business i don't want to get employed they may also criticize your idea but you should be prepared to accept the criticisms willingness to take risk with a lot of emphasis i would say the risk taking quality is foremost in all those qualities that an entrepreneur should possess determination ability to face uncertainty whatever you plan that may not work 
as per the plan there could be several uncertainties you should face so you may not have every quality whatever is listed you can, we can list another uh, 10 15 qualities but you must be having most of these qualities but suppose i lack in some of the quality i don't have proper communication skill certainly you can acquire this skill by way of training by way of several means next next all it's a repetition i'll give you the slides i need not um, explain further he must be a hard worker he must be a innovator risk taker success oriented person multifaceted personality all those things oh no next next he actually what an entrepreneur do entrepreneur innovates and combines the resources in the form of men materials money and brings them together and make the business venture profitable each word has its importance the business venture has to be profitable you are not going to do a charity you are uh, uh, going to do a business for your profit for your economic gain and you are the one who is going to combine the resources resources in the form of men materials missionary then what are the advantages okay i have completed my studies that to in satyabama one of the foremost of uh, my yeah, famous university where the campus interviews are regularly held employment should not be a problem but more than that even if you get an employment a better employment there is another option to look your future for taking up entrepreneurship as a career opportunity then what are the advantages see if i go to employment i may work for 9 to 5 i may get a fixed salary life will be comfortable but more than that what are the other advantages of being an entrepreneur it's sovereign status then a subservient role no boss you are the boss you are everything in a company a recognition from job seeker to job creator i think you must you must have had this word you must be a job creator rather than looking for a job your own timings you are running an enterprise you can decide your timings name fame provide jobs to others once you start an enterprise at least you will be employing a set of uh, with different qualifications at least 10 20 people you know, even if it is a very small enterprise if it is a medium sized enterprise you can give employment to many finally the advantage is economic gains once again i am repeating because whatever the salary you get however lucrative it is you will have a yeah, standard of living will be limited and uh, you cannot hope to become rich getting rich is not a crime you can certainly make money that is possible only through starting your own business venture next next repetitions only characteristics and functions alternatives to new opportunities change agents you must have technological knowledge that's the thing you are uh, studying here i want to mention one more thing see to start an enterprise a formal qualification is necessary or not not very much essential but once you are a graduate once you are a learned person then it is easier for you to understand things easier for you to calculate the pros and cons you will be certainly innovative because four years you are spending in a campus where you may have had uh, several innovative ideas you must have acquired risk taking abilities the ability to organize and manage leadership positive attitude hard work decision making all these things are 
uh, invariably needed to become an entrepreneur next next sir sir no. sir we are not able to hear you sir vesendra sir not audible check it sir 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 not available here ramesh ma sir yes sir uh, sir is disconnected he will be coming Aye. back uh, oh, In the meantime i would like to inform the participants Next. please note yes sir a yes, sir is here now to continue next sir sir i have changed the slide next sir slide. you want to go to the next one sir here the word i somebody coined this word technopreneurs is not a proper english word uh, i told you technical persons an engineer a technologist becoming an entrepreneur they coined a word like technopreneurs so as a biotechnology students he can be broadly classified as entrepreneur initially again breaking down to finer level he will be better known as technopreneur the qualities are technopreneurs or entrepreneurs who use technology as their driving factor in transforming resources into goods and services not uh, in the same uh, status quo position you may not like suppose somebody is making a pet bottle you may not like to do the same thing soaps and detergents several people are making you may not like to enter into it you will add some technical inputs so that the product will be different from what is available in the market technopreneurs are normally technology savvy creative innovative dynamic dares to be different and take the unexplored path they may not like to travel in the path which has been already there they will like to take up unexplored path certainly takes challenges don't fear to fail they are expert in their chosen line for example in your line in biotechnology line you will be an expert so you are the right person to take a decision for your product in that area but it doesn't mean that your biotechnology students cannot enter into any other area once you take up your own area you will have more knowledge in the particular technology you will be familiar with the intricacies of technology and what you are involved in next so you will be a technopreneur when you start an enterprise next agripreneurship similar thing Agric uh, agricultural entrepreneurship is a agripreneurship that's all nothing uh, um, a specific thing for uh, agripreneurship because they have studied agriculture they might be knowing much better the finer details of agriculture they must be knowing the demand of the demand in the market what people really do what improvements can be done all those things they will be familiar with the agriculture so they are agripreneurship next repeated tricks and rewards of self employment if you are self employed person there are certain risk associated there are rewards associated risk you 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 will be the loan operator 
you will be everything in your enterprise you will be the general manager you will be the purchase manager finance manager works manager what not everything you are the only one you are the loan operator in your enterprise that will have some risk events may go beyond your control because the environmental factor can distort your directions for example this covid pandemic from march to till date and uh, few months to come people are not knowing what to do even governments are little confused all their plans have gone haywire because of the covid because these things are beyond your control you may lose self confidence if you face some failures if things are not working as per your plan you will face failure and automatically you will lose self confidence you are responsible for your own decision all losses will be yours similarly all profits will be yours you will need to spend long hours that 8 to 9 to 5 your routine office going business cannot be there you ought to work not less than 16 hours a day this is initially at least once you are established then you can relax you will have to be flexible it may affect your social life because even you cannot spare time to your family these are all the risk associated when you see the rewards the risks can be ignored the rewards are you are your own boss you need not report to a senior whom you may not like also but you have to listen to him in this entrepreneurship line you are your own boss you can exercise control because everything depends on your control certainly you can exercise control you can develop self confidence once you face some success certainly your self confidence level will improve decisions will be yours profit will be yours you will gain status in community which you may not get in an employment so you may you may get an employment you may be even posted as a manager manager only within your plant but in the social status you may not gain much if you are wage employed so self employed gain status in the community there are scope for creativity you can do several things on your own whatever the creative thinking you have you will try to implement it will involve family also in business the operations are uh, um, going high you will involve the family for the in business or all the risk and rewards a comparison rewards yeah. are much better, okay. better. The, these risks can be overcome next next a little definition about this micro and small enterprises so so far we have discussed who is an entrepreneur what he does how the classification is done all those things we just uh, discussed in um, three four slides then we really come to enterprises here we would like to talk about micro and small enterprises not even medium micro enterprises are classified like this a business enterprise as i told you is an economic institution production of services in order to earn profits and acquire wealth enterprise differently in terms of workers employed or investment in plant and equipment turnover of output or sales etc how these micro and small enterprises are classified in some countries they define it in terms of turnover in some countries actual sales but in our countries this investment in plant and equipment alone it was there till 30th june from 1st july onwards the definition has changed that i will discuss in the next slide in the indian context micro and small and medium enterprises are classified in terms of investment in plant and machinery and equipments here turnover also added from 17 2020 next 
Oh, enterprises, manufacturing enterprises, service enterprises, trading enterprises. Services, what I mean? Running a courier service, running a restaurant service, running a... Trading, as you know, it's a buying and selling with a profit that we are not going to discuss. If you have sufficient money, you can hire a premises or buy a premises in a busy marketplace and do a trading. There are also some risks associated, but relatively, trading businesses have less risk than services. But Manufacturing activities will have more risk than services and trading. Next. As I told you, the classification is made from uh, made uh, classifications are uh, revised from 17. It's only five days. The registrations are going on now. From 2020, the micro enterprises are defined like this, where the investment in plant and machinery or equipment does not exceed 1 crore and turnover does not exceed 5 crore. They have combined both. That is, investment in plant and equipment and turnover. Investment should not exceed 1 crore turnover not to exceed 5 crore, then it is classified as micro enterprises. For small enterprises, where the plant and machinery investment is uh, not to exceed 10 crore, similarly the turnover does not exceed 50 crore. When this is the criteria, the enterprises are classified as small enterprises. Medium enterprises, it's Investment 50 crore and turnover 250 crore. So initially, you need not worry about medium or large scale. Large scale, we did not even discuss. Large scale, for example, a cement plant, a steel plant, or a shipbuilding plant, or major uh, power, uh, power plants, those things are not discussed here. Because initially, we concentrate on micro enterprises and if you are capable, you can think about small enterprises. The investment is not exceeding one crore. In the micro case, smaller enterprises, it's 10 crore. So for a new entrepreneur, he will be worried either micro or small, not even medium. Next. So I told you this uh, classification uh, is from... Uh, First uh, July onwards only. Then uh, having discussed uh, what is, uh, who is an entrepreneur and what is a micro and small enterprise. Imagine you have taken a small decision or a faint idea you have developed. I want to, yes, I want to be a businessman. I don't want to get employed. Getting an employment will not be a problem. But even if I get it, I don't need it. I would like to do a business on my own. Suppose to take the decision, there are two things. One is the decision to be self-employed. That's what I'm repeatedly telling. Whether to go for a job or to do a business on your own. So it's not a small, easy decision. Even your own Parents, family, people, you are married, your wife will not permit you to go for a, a self employed uh, venture because the risk and uh, problems could be many. But once you decide that, then only comes okay, I know there are risks associated. I would like to do a project on my own. Then the second major problem is selection of your product or your project. 
for this particular thing your studies at satyabhama may help the projects what you are working on will certainly give you an idea whether that particular project idea can be implemented on a commercial scale to select a product or a project only two major things are to be considered one is whether i will be able to sell the product whatever i make the government is supporting the new entrepreneurs in several ways they give finance they give uh, developed a plot developed a buildings industrial buildings many conce uh, concessions and incentives are given but they don't undertake you produce the item we will sell it for you no government is going to come forward to that decision so whatever the product you will be making you should be able to sell it you should be able to market it effectively suppose you consider yes i am able to sell it i want to prepare a tool to detect covid infection instantly certainly you will be able to sell it immediately also but the next criteria is how much investment it is going to how much money it is going to cost me how much money i can bring in how much i can borrow from the financial institutions and banks so that put together it com comes project cost so ability to sell is one thing bringing in capital for the project is another thing at this juncture i would like to tell you you need not worry about finance or money at this stage because money is plenty in the market banks are looking for potential entrepreneurs potential investors with a perfect project idea so for a right person and a right project finance should not be a problem so you need not worry about the finance that is required for your project now because the promoter contribution is as low as 25% or even in some government projects it is 10% meaning that if you are able to invest 25% you will be able to borrow 75% suppose the project cost is say 40 lakhs so you have to bring in 10 lakhs 30 lakhs is given as financial support so there are several schemes for finance there are n number of agencies available in the country for project funding so at this moment just don't worry about the finance worry about the product the first one next next having decided i want to set up an enterprise msme only that could be a micro one or a small one not even medium i told you earlier whatever the level of investment or category of the enterprise whether it is micro or small these steps are involved selection of a product i told you this is a very toughest decision an entrepreneur takes so you can get a consultancy idea guidance counseling from large number of people for what for the procedural guidance he or he as a consultant may not be able to suggest a product which will be acceptable to you the ultimate decision has to be taken by the entrepreneur himself so during your studies at satyabhama you can start worrying about it start brainstorming what product i can bring i can produce which is 
saleable in the market which can be produced by me technology should not be a problem if you don't have a technology here you can always borrow from abroad so once again i emphasize on this point selection of the product is a paramount and the foremost decision an entrepreneur takes and this is the time even if you are a first year student at satyabama you can start brainstorming you can start uh, scribbling down uh, whatever the idea comes to your mind and finally you will end up with a viable profitable product so think about the product which you or planning to make location of the enterprise you may you might have come from several locations for studies where do you want to locate your unit where the location decides the proximity to the market proximity to the raw material sources and you may like to do it nearby your area any considerations are there or the government has developed industrial estates and they offer uh, um, built in uh, readily built uh, workshops for you so the location decides on that location should be proximity to the raw material or at least a proximity to the market so all the criteria so later you have to prepare your scheme how much you want to invest what do you want to produce how much you are going to produce how much investment i have to make in that what is my contribution how much i could borrow from the other sources all those things will be recorded in a report that will be called as a project profile or a project report then this registration getting licenses all those things are very simple affair nowadays sitting at the comfort of your house how you are listening to your class today similarly you can do all these registration license clearances from the authorities online or you can hire people they can work for you but for the selection of product nobody will help you registration and all simple formalities procedural matters you can do it easily the next point is arranging term finance for a long term finance to be repayable in a course of say 10 years or 20 years where do you approach for finance there are commercial banks there are state financial corporations there are banks like sibi nabord many organizations are available keeping a lot of money with them looking for uh, proper potential entrepreneurs so similarly the registration the statutory licenses clearances you can do it online very simple procedures nowadays they have simplified to a level in a one page in a one page your registration and clearances can be done obtaining land and building suppose if you can hire land and building from the government sources you have to see where it is available in which industrial estate land is available or i need a built up shed available so all those sources you have to find out or you can buy a piece of land construct a building the cost of which will be included in your project report later procurement of machinery identify your machinery and equipments sources cost compare it whether it is locally available within the country or it should be imported from abroad all those things are you have to think it over and record it in the project report term finance is one thing arranging working capital is another thing working capital means you need some cash to run the operations for example payment of rent payment of uh, even mobile charges postage and uh, courier payment to the employees 
all those things comes under working capital next some more steps then you would like to recruit suitable staff for your enterprise then all those things are over missionary has come wherever you have ordered then the installation will uh, be say will, will commence later procurement of raw materials power connection water supply with all these things the trial production will start once the production is going on full stream explore the markets you must have already done some survey and uh, extend it for a uh, physical delivery to the market whether you are going to do it through a dealer or whether you are uh, going to do a direct selling or some uh, proprietary items you will deal it directly with the customers direct marketing my marketing channels it's another important thing so out of these many steps i have explained the product selection is very important that marketing is a second important factor then once you do all these things your repayment of loans will commence on a pre determined emi rates then you will taste the gain a profit by the operations profit generation do you, during the initial operations there could be several bottlenecks there could be several symptoms for sickness all those things you should be carefully uh, avoiding once it has come to a stage so it's operating it's doing a, a good profit generation you can think of modernizing it or we can uh, upgrade it technologically for uh, improved products so the improvements will be ongoing process developments will be ongoing process so during the course of your working you would like to modernize your enterprise with te upgraded technologies next this one part i just wanted to concentrate on one thing this is on incubators to nurture innovate business ideas new indigenous technologies processes products etc which could be commercialized in a year to facilitate technology guidance workshop and lab support linkages to other agencies successful launching for all those things this technology incubator scheme will be useful incubation is a stage where suppose you have worked in a project in your college you cannot uh, based on that you cannot uh, simply invest money to start it commercially because you would like to test it thoroughly whether the idea will work whether the calculations whatever i have made i know it's a risk only but a calculated risk whether these risks are worth considering whether the product is viable for implementation on commercial scale for that technology business incubator schemes are being run they will encourage the ideas to become smes so as a student when you choose a project under your guide choose carefully so that the same project can be implemented commercially so this technology business incubator scheme operated by the development commissioner msme will offer financial assistance to support it several colleges and universities within chennai are having technology business incubators tbi yes sir in our satyabhama we have sir technology business incubator and also your msme also the msme uh, msme already provided uh, business incubator to satyabhama sir these are all input please yeah thank you sir thank you okay 
the slides are not working i'll just explain yes, what sir, is yes, sir, okay. yeah incubator i was telling the government grant up to 80% of the project cost maximum up to 8 lakhs per project idea is given imagine you have completed fourth year i uh, as a um, viable project idea in your mind but you want to test it validate it before you invest commercially before you invest your hard earned money you would like to see whether the idea will work for that incubator scheme is very good up to 8 lakhs per project assistance is given by the government each ba ba means the uh, hsi host institute or the incubator institute will assist 10 project ideas or units in a single time institutions like engineering colleges technological institutions research labs will be provided financial assistance up to 6.25 lakhs for hand holding of each new entrepreneur hope um, i have made it clear see when you have a project idea while working in third year or fourth year of your college and that idea will have some commercial will be implemented commercially will be started as a enterprise before investing money into that idea you can do that experiment within your college for this financial assistance up to 8 lakhs per project idea is given in several colleges in chennai it is already there and uh, many people are working in uh, business incubators for example in iit madras in iit uh, in um, madras university incubators are successfully functioning iit at vellore and at least some 20 colleges within chennai as far as i know technology business incubators are available it doesn't mean you should work in satyabama only wherever the technology business incubators are available wherever your guide you identify a guide is available and laboratory testing facilities are given to you for your experiments you can choose any incubator but working within the tibama if they have a technical technology business incubator it will be advantageous to you because your own professors your own hods will be there for guiding you next yeah before uh, we sum up um i would like to emphasize one more point on this technology business incubator especially for those working uh, those studying in third year and fourth year seriously think about it join join your course in uh, technology business incubator so you will gain confidence you will get perfect your idea so this 40 50 minutes discussion what we have learned let us sum up we defined the entrepreneur we said one who identifies the opportunities innovate the ideas raises money assemblies and puts we have defined it in this particular point the person who undertakes a business or an enterprise assuming risk once again they have added risk because risk taking is invariably a, a prerequisite for a prospective entrepreneur to enter into entrepreneurship to become a successful entrepreneur entrepreneurship requires development of certain qualities and skills all those skills we have discussed all those you may not possess but you can certainly acquire when you want to do it can be developed through occasional education programs and training few qualities you may not be very sharp 
but certainly you can develop it acquire it through formal trainings next next the again it's a recap same thing this one yeah 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 illustration it defines to do something different an entrepreneur is the one who will do something different in this picture if you see there are number of fishes more all the fishes except one going towards one direction the other one takes a different direction that is to do something different little mathio c little out of the box thinking so if you have the quality like that single fish which has chosen a different direction and you are a right entrepreneurial person you can think of your uh, plans right from day one right from now and it is not too early even if you are in the first year by the time you come out from the college you will come out with a strong conviction yes i want to be a businessman uh, my product is this my investment will be like this and uh, i am 100% confident i will be successful in my entrepreneurial career next something written in tamil that's not uh, miscible here but uh, i'll tell you what it is see this old lady does a small business selling some vegetables on the road side she is also an entrepreneur she the tamil sayings are like this who is worried about walmart walmart is a chain of a supermarket in america and there was a, a plan that time the walmart will be allowed in india but she says who is worried about walmart because i know how to do my business because she does all managerial functions she does a procurement she maintains the inventory she has a customer base she makes a profit she has done some investment whether it is borrowed on her own to be very small but the every entrepreneurial function she does at the age of 80 plus if she could do why not the energetic students from satyabama next next so uh, in conclusion entrepreneurs are made not born is the truth by peter drucker a management guru and uh, an expert economist the entrepreneurial mystic it's not magic it's not mysterious and it has nothing to do with the genes it's a discipline like any other like biotech or electrical engineering civil engineering it's a discipline and like any other discipline it can be learned with a formal training with self interest entrepreneurship qualities you can acquire you can become an entrepreneur so with some confidence think it over so we are trying to introduce into the line see every college will claim about their placement record we have placed a 80% 90% of our students but uh, no college claims that we have promoted so many enterprises started by our students no college claims and at least satyabama can try towards this the direction and uh, once again i thank the organizers for giving us an opportunity and time is up we can discuss several things but we wanted to introduce you to this line think it over if it uh, feel uh, better things you can put it in the chat chat box whatever questions i receive i'll be able to answer uh, with that i once again thank everybody thanks also for the participants who came with some hope let us listen what is going to happen because knowledge never hurts learning something is uh, nothing wrong learn something if it doesn't suit you ignore it nothing wrong next
I think we can conclude it yes. here. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank sir. You, sir. Thank you. Excellent, excellent session, sir. Excellent presentation. Question, sir. Ramesh, sir. Yes, sir. Thank uh, you, sir. Uh, sir thank you very now? much. Yes, sir. Thank you for the wonderful session, sir. Just one or two questions, sir. One or two questions from the participants, sir. Uh, is there a, uh, what is the limit of amount provided by SME to start business, sir? It's one question being asked, sir. See, if it is a micro enterprise, the limit is five crores. Okay, sir. If it is a small scale enterprise, it is up to fifty crores. But initially, let us not worry about larger investment. Think about a project within five crores or as low as twenty thirty crores, then the twenty thirty lakhs. Later, you can uh, enlarge it, develop it for uh, um, larger projects. But to start with, and uh, the investment level depends on how much you are going to invest. Just imagine like this: twenty five percent is your money. 75% is borrowed money bank loan so i am investing one part bank is giving three parts who is taking more risk the banks bank because they contribute 75% of the project cost so uh, i have been telling several times just don't worry about finance at this stage finance is readily available once you come to some level then only you should start thinking about project for a basic idea 1/4 is my money 3/4 is bank money in some government projects as low as 10% promoter contribution is permitted 10% in the sense you invest 10 rupees you borrow 90 rupees You get a subsidy of thirty rupees. What a great uh, incentives uh, governments are giving, you know. So those things are secondary that you will be learning later. Now the decision to be employed, decision to be self-employed, is a major thing you have to decide, and the type of product you want to make. So money should not be a problem for a MSME project. Yes, sir. and uh, okay. there's another question sir what is the criteria for incubator incubator incubating any business before starting is there any criteria sir criteria see for example one of your students he could be a alumni of your uh, satyabhama he has a project idea or he has worked with a project during his college studies he feels that could be commercialized the criteria is whatever the project you undertake it should have a commercial value in a reasonable period of time say one year or 18 months it should go into commercial production so this is the criteria chosen by, by the committee for that up to 8 lakhs is given as a grant It is not even a loan it is grant for student Uh, if so, some of your students are interested, of course now uh, no visits are possible. Post Corona, post Covid, they can go to IIT Madras or Madras University, where the technology business incubators are functioning, functioning very successfully. They can see it for themselves. I think Satyabhama, I think there is a scheme for uh, TBI. No. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. We have some. We have some. Yeah. 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 So. your own students can work after the graduation for another 12 months or one and a half year getting government grant kon guys oh ah 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 they will gain knowledge they will yes. gain confidence in the incubation period yes sir i think we can wind up the time is up eh? yes sir Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for the wonderful session, sir. I also thank the participants. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for the time spent, sir. Thank you, one and two.